I'm David Brock, Senior Research Fellow at the Chemical Heritage Foundation, and I'm joining you from CHF's museum in Philadelphia. And I'd like to take the next few minutes um, to try and convince you that electronics has a chemical history. Um, I'll begin by um, pointing out a device called a microprocessor, a microchip. Microprocessors are the central processing units at uh, basically the heart of all your digital devices. They're in your telephone, they're in your tablet, your laptop, your desktop, they're in the many servers in the data centers that uh, power the cloud and the World Wide Web. Microprocessors are tiny slivers of the element silicon onto which today many millions, even billions of tiny switches called transistors have been made and it's the switching on and off of these myriad miniature invisible to the naked eye transistors that power our digital world. Going back to the very first commercial microprocessor right here, the Intel 4004, that had um, um, only thousands of transistors on it. Um, so the question is then how does one make so many transistors on such a small piece of silicon? And the way that you do that is with chemistry. Silicon is one of the most abundant elements on the Earth's crust. Um, it is the major constituent of sand. Um, to make a microchip, uh, first um, fair ultra pure silicon is obtained. It is then very carefully grown into an ultra-pure single crystal bool. So this is one perfect single crystal that's then sawn into uh, thin wafers that are polished, made perfectly flat. And this is really the starting, uh, the starting place for fabricating a silicon microchip. The way the transistors are made onto these wafers is by um, essentially a form of chemical printing um, using the projection of patterns onto um, photosensitive coatings on top of the wafer. Um, engineers and scientists are able to etch and chemically transform different pieces, different areas of the wafer to form transistors and other electronic devices and uh, with uh, an incredible advance in our ability to print these very very small patterns onto the wafer multiple microprocessors or other microchips are formed on the wafers that are then cut apart and put into packages so it is essentially a chemical method a chemical and material method that is used to produce these microchips that are at the heart of our electronic and digital worlds. To learn more about um, the connection between chemistry and electronics um, today and farther in the past, um, please visit us at our museum in Philadelphia or online at chemheritage.org. And I'm David Brock, and thank you very much.